Hello, everyone. It's Lindsay and Peter from Edward Hello. Bear. Hello, hello there. How are you? Another whole week has gone by and here we are again. We're pleased to be seeing you. Now, what we'd like to do is shall we sing our normal Edward Bear song? Do you, can you remember it? Can you remember how we do it? Can we take a big breath? We're pleased, pleased to see you at Edward Bear, Edward Bear, Edward Bear. Pleased to see you at Edward Bear, at Edward Bear on a Thursday. First of all, we come to church, come to church, come to church. First of all, we come to church at Edward Bear on a Thursday. We light the candles and ring the bell. Now then, we mm -hmm. might not be all together, but we can light the candles and we can ring the bell. So let's light the first candle, Peter, shall we? Let's have a go. Now, who do we light this one for? I'm trying to think. Who do we light it for? It's somebody very special, yes. isn't it? Can I hear you? We light it for Jesus, don't we? And what does Janet say? Janet says that we bring Jesus into our minds, into our heads and thoughts, um, into our hearts... And all, all around, around us. us. Yep. All around us. Do you know he's here right now? Is he really? Well, he's thought, here right I now. I hope so. I'm, and I believe us. he is, yes. And <laughs> he's with you too. Oh yes, that's true as well. You can't <laughs> see him, no. But we know he's there. That's good, isn't it? Now, who's the other candle for, Peter? Well. This candle is it's for... It's rather special, isn't it? Birthdays. Is it really? Do yes. you have a birthday? Peter had one last week, didn't he? I had a great birthday. He had a beautiful birthday. Thank you so much for all the good wishes. Mm. I had hundreds of good wishes. Do you have a birthday this week? Are you shouting out? Are you two? Are you three? <laughs> Are you four? I was more than all of that put you together. Were. So Here we go. We wish all of you a happy birthday. We'll sing you a little happy birthday for anybody that's got a birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Whoever you are. Happy birthday to you. But also, that candle is all for, also for people who might not be very well this week. And you might know somebody who's not very well this week. Well, exactly. It yes. could be a nanny or a granddad. Yeah, it could be. It could be a brother or a sister or a baby. So we can pray mm. for those people as well. Absolutely. So we light yeah. a candle for those too. Yeah. And can we ring the bell yet? Oh, we light the candles and ring the bell. Go ring, ring the, the bell. bell. Here we go. Show them the bell, Pete. There's the yeah. bell. The super bell, that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that tells everybody here in Ashbourne that it's Edward Bear. Mm. We wake up That's the town really with it, good, don't we, children? It? Absolutely. That's absolutely right. <laughs> now, normally we would have a few little prayers at this point. So would you just close your eyes a moment and be quiet just a little while and let's just say, thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Amen. That was lovely. Now we're going to sing two songs. Okay. Now, good, good, good. The first one is going to be Incy Wincy Spider. Oh, really? Oh, it's not scary, is it? It is a bit. Are you ready? Oh, well. Get your hands together, ready? Okay, here we go. Incy Wincy Spider climbed Climbing up, up the, the spout. Wall. Oh, the spout. Down came the rain and washed the, the spider, spider out. out. Yep. Out well, came, came the, the sun spider. and dried, dried up all, all the rain, rain. and Incy Wincy, Wincy spider, spider climbed up the spout again. again. Now then, I think we need to do it once more because <laughs> you don't know that one very well. I don't well. know it. I don't know very many things. Shall we do really? it again? <laughs> Incy Wincy, Wincy spider, spider climbed up, up the, the spout. spout. Down came the, the rain, rain and washed the spider, the spider out. out. Completely out. Out came the, the sunshine. Pressure, but it couldn't get away. <laughs> dried up all the rain. <laughs> and Incy Wincy spider, spider climbed up the spout again. That was right good, the wasn't it? the spout mm -hmm. at the moment. <laughs> we can stay there. <laughs> okay, as long as he behaves himself. Now then, the next song we're going to and sing no one rain. more is Hickory Dickory Dock. Now, do okay. you know that one? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Not your version of it, anyway. <laughs> but we'll have hickory, a go, shall we? Dickory dock. The mouse, mouse ran up the, the clock. clock. The clock, clock struck, struck one. one. 
the mouse run down. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Well done. Now then, are you ready? Because we've got another Edward Bear story. Oh yes, we have mm -hmm. indeed. I'm going to move out the way now. <laughs> okay. Well, hello again, everybody. And I hope you're sitting comfortably. Last week, Ed was involved in a teddy bear parachute event held at the church. And what an exciting time he and Skippy had. Edward is becoming a bit concerned that Jesus might not be well. And we shall now see how all this unfolds as I read to you chapter 4. Edward Bear wants to meet Jesus. Recently, Edward Bear's life had changed so much. He now had a friend, Daisy, one of the children who came almost every week to the praise and play event. He shared his cupboard with Skippy, the little pet lamb, and of course all the other toys in the cupboard. They shared lots of happy times together, especially when they were part of the Edward Bear Thursday morning events. All of this was very real. He could see and experience it. He enjoyed all this friendship and playing that took place and the care everyone took with the parachuting. And yet he never saw Jesus. He was much talked about. He realised that everything that everyone did was based upon this person, Jesus. But Edward always seemed to be somewhere else when Jesus was about. He was going to have to learn more about Jesus. And very soon his chance came when he was taken over to the little service many of the children attended during the Thursday morning event. He helped ring the bell. He sang along with the songs that welcomes everyone into the church. We're pleased to see you at Edward Bear, Edward Bear. And he saw the lighting of the candles, including for one for Jesus. Was he not well? thought Edward. He'd been so looking forward to meeting Jesus. Then there were some more prayers, sharing happy and sad times together. All asking for Jesus to listen and help. And then it was time for a story. Daisy told Edward that all the stories were from the Bible and many were about the life of Jesus. Edward was by now glued to a big cushion alongside Skippy and Daisy. This was going to be one of the stories about Jesus. What was it going to be about? He wondered. Chris was telling the story today. Chris always told lovely stories. And as we settled, the little children and the few older children who had so much energy that they didn't know how, how not to run about and jump on the enormous cushions squealing with delight, stopped as Chris focused her attention on them. She gave them one of her looks. And then the parents and carers put down their phones and we all paid attention to Chris as she sat on the floor, which she always did to tell us the story. Jesus, she started, has been in all our stories recently. We have learnt about his life, his teaching and the wonderful things he did on this earth. You remember, she promoted, how Jesus fed thousands of people, how he made so many people feel better. We have learnt through these stories that his life is all about love. His life is still all about love and forgiveness. But as many of you know, Jesus has left the earth and now lives in heaven. This week, though, we are to learn that he showered his love on to his disciples, those followers who went everywhere with him, and on us so that we too might also live a little like him in our lives. And so, as some of you are wondering, we, can actually, we cannot actually see Jesus. But it is not that he is unwell, Edward. Chris knows, Chris knows everything, you know. 
and I knew at that moment she had been reading my mind. She gave me a loving smile to say it was okay. And then she went on. No, it's not that he's unwell. Perhaps the children have been wondering where he was too, because he's not here, or he doesn't appear to be here anyway. No, we believe that he is here now. It is his spirit that dwells amongst us. Chris then did a remarkable thing. She put her arms up and thanked Jesus for all the gifts he gave the group. The children, the parents and all those who helped at Edward Bear for his presence. Silence filled this wonderful space in the church and for a moment it seemed truly that he had joined us. Now that even a humble bear could be caught up in such a wonderful story. Well... All this came as a great shock to Edward Bear. He had missed all the action and Jesus had gone. But he was still here and now acting through his disciples. This was too much. The group fell silent. We paused together. Chris quietly got up and the story was over. The moment passed and soon the children all headed back to the church hall where they had snacks, sang happy birthday and shared a cake and some refreshments together before heading off to enjoy their day elsewhere. But Edward, having put back, been put back in the toy cupboard by Janet, things could never be the same. He sat in the cupboard, very still and very quiet, until Skippy spoke up and said, Edward, are you all right? What's the matter? After some time, he said, I don't know, said Edward. One moment Jesus was here, and now he's gone. But he's not gone. How can this be? Well, the toys didn't have an answer. Edward was on the start of a journey, and he knew it. But he didn't know it, and here we must stop until next week. Children, if you're returning to school now, I hope your journey will be safe and exciting. And I just know that Jesus will be with you all the time, whatever happens. Thank you. Oh, Peter, that was great. So good. Edward is on a journey, isn't <laughs> he? He certainly is, mm. with lots more stories to tell. More stories. Where is <laughs> Jesus really? I think he's beginning to feel him in his heart. Mm, I think you're well, right. Well, we've got Skippy here because Skippy, <laughs> Skippy's been listening to this story. We haven't got Edward because Edward is in the toy cupboard and we can't get Edward out at the minute <laughs> because we're not allowed. But he knows we're talking about him, I'm sure. Well, I think Skippy hmm. talks to him quite regularly. We've got Skippy, but we've also <clears> got, <throat> um, we've got our little, little Ted who's here too. Hello. And we've got our little dog that comes and he lives here too. And we have got Teddy's bear, Teddy Edward's friend, Teddy, who's here. Look, here he is. So he's a friend for Skippy. But it's not quite the not same, quite is the it? Same. No, 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 never mind. No. So we put him away over there for the minute, thank oh, you. Goodbye. Now then, Peter, can we blow these lovely candles out very carefully? Put your hand behind them so we don't... Yeah, okay. go on, off you go then. That's it. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. So there's one thing left to do, isn't it? And it's Absolutely. to sing our favourite song before we go. So take a big breath in from your boots. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're happy and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're happy and you know it, do a four. I am. If you're happy and you know it, do a four. I am. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a four. 
I am. Now then, before we <laughs> finally go, is your hair getting really long like mine? <laughs> I cut Peter's hair. What do yes, you think? I cut it. What do you but think? My hair is really long. It's my turn now. Mm, I bet <laughs> yours is too. Until we see you next week, have a lovely week and be careful and be safe. And love school if and you're going back. And love one another yes. too. Yes, and one another. And just Bye. think about Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye then. Bye bye.